Thank you all for coming. Uh, to your right is Claudio Gaudi, a Toronto writer. And to my left, to my right, your left, <laughs> is Abu Ali Farman Farmayan. Say it after me. <laughs> Abu Ali Farman Farmayan. <laughs> they went silent, at least for England they went silent. Learning to go under for years or a decade is an art. One has to submit income tax, shop, cook, take kids on a vacation, buy a birthday present, throw a tavern for a few friends, and so on. And so, via an agreement with funders DX, DY, and DZ, they did one last bang and boom in the United Kingdom and went to Canada via a ship, no less. Look out, Canadians. They settled in cities, hopping from one to another. They did a few things which were useful in the larger balancing out of things. Bien sûr, a majority of Canadians were against what they did, let there be no doubt. The IDF recruits in Western countries. Some Canadians joined them, but given the task at hand, only a minority. Then suddenly, at the speed of an equatorial sunset, they, as a group, grew old. What follows is an epistle to imperialism and its sons. The noises of possessive ravens overlap the sweet rising and falling high mass of migratory bubbles. A few hours later, the ka, ka of the black priest becomes a soft, persistent knocking at the edge of my sleep. They are taking me back to the airport along a smooth road, a checkpoint with soldiers smoking, loitering before a red sinking sun. I look at Abdul or his equivalent behind the steering wheel and firmly assert in a Turkic or similar language my right not to have air conditioning. The mullahs with their powerful voices blow all the 380s off the runways into the thin air, the airport now a black spot in the past. In the humming cabin, I read the music review section of the Financial Times, a light discussion of Ida on the Nile, written by Thomas Silver or Gold, but not Uraniumberg. Hours later, the plane banks over Suez, Port Said, blue Cyprus, then more water. Below are the Italians the prime inventors of bonds, banks, formalized money, and fraud. <laughs> the Swiss and the Gauls with wonderful, easily adaptable political models for all of Africa. Untraceable deposits disappear into untraceable accounts. Particles function duly as waves and money and its electronic friends are not predictable. Iqbal, what did you think of our adventure to get the funding? You came with me, do you remember? But Iqbal hasn't been paying attention. In fact, he's stopped breathing completely. Can't be. My second dead in a month. Nurse, nurse. Pulse, neck, wrist, gone. 1459 on a sunny Tuesday in the month of September. Sad thing is I'll never know where in my story he died. Iqbal, mad as a March hare, he did Russell Square, the triangle below Canal Street and did Chicago Circle. 200 in each geometry, 155 injured on average. Quick, honey, call the ambulance. People need to be saved. This 
said no commentary, but I just want to say you make the most delicious sentences. Her breasts in streaming water, thrombotic veins all over her falling breast. She's standing in the tub, water falling on her long and elegant skeletal structure, no longer covered with smooth olive-colored skin. Her facial bones pop up the weathered tent of her oval face, the delicate chin. She's beautiful. I always knew that. One of her hands has dark spots which comically trail toward, towards her armpits. I love watching her hands pluck fresh coriander leaves. Her lined palms quickly move a few strands of frizzy gray hair out of the eyes. She froths up soap in an ancient and familiar way. Her face gently leans into the stream of water as she washes the such and distinct white fluid lines down to her armpits. This is the view from the door. You're a little hard of hearing, and your hearing aid is out in the bedroom. You'll place it in your ear after things have dried. When we cuddle, we wear our hearing aids. The amplified sound enters our ears and increases our love for each other. We tried without the chips, but it's no good. Her old age and mine are interlocked in hearing aid happiness. We're growing old together, and are we, or are we not living in an old folks' home together? In your 50s, your flesh was firm when I touched it. In your 60s, it bulged like satin and rings of orbital fat. The folds actually happened rather recently, almost suddenly. You see, this is how I've maintained my intimacy with you. I've been watching your body as if I were a camera. Then suddenly, the tray on which I've been lying starts to move. My exam is over, and the nurse says that if there's anything, Dr. Chang Bird will call me. They always say there's nothing new. New is a question of degree. I live my life, the electron is theirs. And you, Joseph, were and are fueled by something larger. I don't know what that was. Maybe that's why you kept dreaming up bigger and bigger ways to balance things. Inshallah, I'll die now. Forgive me for leaving. I mean dying. You made me laugh insanely. Joseph, these will be my last words. So much for their monopoly on violence. So in the vast and airy cabin, all were now silent with their collective worries. Seatbelt, lights off. Why worry? You all look so terrorized. We're just taking you in another direction from the one you planned on taking. Simply changing direction doesn't make us terrorists, does it? We learned our customs not only from hills and dales in the sweet-smelling English countryside, from Hadrian's Wall and the Moors, but also from the culture at large. We won't change your biological status, don't worry. That's what you're worried about, isn't it? Biological changes that we might bring about against your will? We will be leaving Heathrow in a few moments against your will. Just before we get going, though this is going to sound flaky, I know, but we have a psychologist with us. She's an Islamic psychologist. Her name is Usha, and she's a Sufi Freudian. <laughs> and she's willing to explain to you why this isn't an interpretation of a bad dream, but actually a reality you are in now. She's willing to talk to you one-on-one. -on -one. Some of you might need that kind of attention. At any rate, Ponder these questions as we fly. Moreover, just to prove that we are not against Jews, we have asked all Jews to leave this flight. <laughs> thank you, Anna. Thank you, Michael Morola and Julie Roder. Let's give it up for Daniel Perry. <laughs>